Hello everyone, Maze here to talk about using a program called MC Edit with Minecraft EDU. Now as you can see, I am in a snowy biome. And I have a pond here that has been completely frozen over. Now say I wanted to create a warm area so I could use this pond for farming or something like that. So we're going to change the biome using a world editor called MC Edit. So first we're going to download the program and go to mcedit.net and you can choose your operating system. Now if you're running Windows it will give you a choice between running 32-bit or 64-bit version. If you're not sure what your operating system is, just go with 32. That's the safest bet. It'll run on anything. But I'm running on a Mac, so I will download that version. So save it anywhere. It will come in as a zip file. Then you want to extract that into its own little folder somewhere and run it. All right, here we go. Now this is MC Edit. If you get any pop-up question boxes, you know, it's warning you not to run Minecraft, just hit OK. It's asking you maybe if you want to send debug information, you can just hit no. Um, but anyway, you will end up with this screen here. You don't want to load a world because what that will do is just go to your default Minecraft directory. We want to open up a Minecraft EDU world, so we need to go into open a level. That's that's what you want to click on, open a level. And it is going to default to your Minecraft saves directory, but you want to back out of that. Um, you want to go right into application support and you want to find your Minecraft EDU directory. So mine's over here at the bottom here, right here. So double click on that directory and go into server tool and then worlds and then saved worlds because that's where you saved your world. And there's my snowy spawn world. So I'm going to open this. Level dat is the file that it reads. So there we go. We are now in MC Edit looking at our EDU world. Now the controls to move are the same as Minecraft. You know, W goes forward, S goes backwards. You know, A goes right, D goes left, Q goes up, and Z goes down, way down. <laughs> um, the hardest part, I think, about this program is getting used to the controls, but once you're used to them, it's fine. Um, you can right-click and hold down that right-click mouse button and move your mouse to look around. That's always pretty handy. So anyway, we are going to select the region that we want to change. So you can just click anywhere and drag it to the region that you want. So, you know, I want a fairly big region to be nice and warm. Right about maybe there. You don't have to be too precise. Just want to get a good idea of where it's going to change. Okay, you can extend the selecting area by grabbing a side and dragging it. This is your whole selection box. Um, but that doesn't really matter right now. We're just going to select a general area and then choose this really handy little button here. I'll select chunks. That's going to change my selection box to encompass everything from sky to bedrock. That's important. So now that we have our area selected, we want to go into our filters. That's this button right here. And we'll click on that, and it will change. Now there's a lot of uh, default pre-installed filters. You can add third-party filters. There's a lot of awesome ones, but you know, right now we're just going to stick to the basics. And we're going to choose Set Biome right here. So we choose that. And now we have options. And you can select whatever biome you want this region to be set to. Now I want it, you know, something nice and warm. 
but you know very standard basics so planes and then I choose filter right here and it will apply this filter to my selected region and that's it now you can choose control s to save or you can open up the menu up in the top left corner here I'm just gonna go save it's going to save everything for me and then you're done you can quit MC edit that's it that's all you need to do okay so we have the server loaded up again and as you can see it's no longer snowing here it's raining that's because the biome has changed but that's about all that's changed there's no blocks that have changed nothing um, the filter just changes the environment not the blocks but as you can see it's not snowing anymore and if we saw this pond it's not going to freeze again so if you want to unthaw something rather quickly you want to be careful with this but you can use the world edit command thaw you do not want to use a large radius because it could crash your server I'm going to be conservative and just thaw 10 Sploosh. There we go. Insta melt. And uh, I think my leg is bad enough. I don't need to have it raining at the same time anymore. Okay. So as you can see, I am thawing the area out. and it will not refreeze because the biome has been changed it's no longer part of the icy plains it is now plains as you can see there plains biome yay and that's about all there is to it 